to her to the side and she's like, starts spreading her butt cheek. Ah, 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 I gotta, I gotta poop. I gotta do it all of a sudden. And I'm like. Hi you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Color. And David. And we are back with another video. So today's video is a special one because it's all about our labor and delivery story. What happened? Yeah, so I believe that we needed to make some context to some of the videos because there's certain things that we weren't able to get because it just went by very unexpectedly. You know, things just happened. Yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to sit down with David and we just kinda freestyle talking about everything that we kind of remember, how things went, um, because the last video you probably see is, well, you'll see the labor and delivery video, but you'll also have seen the uh, midwife brew. So after the midwife brew, everything kind of went by like that. David didn't believe in the brew process. I guess it worked. Yeah, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and jump right into it, starting from the midwife brew. So I had took the brew. It was like, I think it was like 11 o'clock at night. How long did it take you to? Get it all down. It was like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, because I think you have like 30 minutes to gulp it down. Mm -hmm. So from the um, brew, for some reason, I was just like, okay, let's try to get ready. So I decided to clean up. And after cleaning up, I think I spent maybe, I don't know, I didn't get finished cleaning up till like 3 o'clock in the morning. David was still asleep, living his best life. He was unconcerned, <laughs> unbothered. About 3.30 in the morning, I was thinking about- This is Friday morning. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now it's about three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I'm thinking I'm gonna sleep in the nursery. Um, so I started setting up because for some reason my back started to hurt. That really should have been a telltale sign that something was happening, but I just thought maybe I was doing too much. Before. You didn't want to believe it. <laughs> yeah, because at this time I, I was already super exhausted and I already felt like I was doing way too much anyway that I just felt like I just needed to sit down. So I tried to like sleep in the nursery room and I couldn't, it, it felt like the bed was really hard. So I decided to go into the living room. I go to sleep maybe about till like 4.30 and I am aching, aching. Like I don't know what's in my mind. <laughs> but it's still not dawning on me. So I go into the linen closet to grab my heating pad, using it to try to cure some of the aches and back pains that I was having. So it helped for a while, and then about 6.40 in the morning, I woke up again and was still aching. I'm sitting there thinking, I'm looking into the sun, and then I'm just like, I don't think if David leaves, and at this point I already thought he left, but I was like, if David leaves me, I don't see myself being able to take care of Nala. Like, I, I don't see it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know I can't pick her up. I'm just so, I'm in pain. So at this point, I'm thinking like, the it's potentially labor starting, but then I'm like, maybe like in another day or two, you know? And I'm getting ready for work and everything, so I'm all dressed up. So I gotta do a training, so. I thought he already went to work at this point because usually about 6.50, he's out the door anyway. What? And that's usually the time I wake up. But I had to leave a little later because the training started later, so I was still here. Yeah. So I come out and I see her on the couch. No, I called you. You called me? Yeah. And I was like, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, so. so I called him, I'm like, where are you at? And he was like, is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, I just, I have a little bit. I don't think I'll be able to take care of Nala, so I think I'm gonna go to the hospital. And then he was like, I'm here, hold on. And then he came out. Yeah, and then she was like, I'm feeling cramps. You said feeling cramps or something? I think I said like back aches. I was like, let's call the doctor. Yeah, and I was <laughs> like, well, you know. No, you said, do you think I need to stay home? Yeah, do you think I need to stay home? And I was like, no, this and that. And he was like, well, just call the hospital and tell them what you're feeling and see how it goes. Because I'm like, I think I'm going to go drop Nala off to my aunt's house. And then I'm going to drive to the hospital and just kind of check and make sure everything's okay. And I'm thinking she's talking crazy. So I already <laughs> went off to the side and called my boss. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm no, coming this, in. No, this is, no, that was after I called the hospital. So I called the hospital 
and then I'm like, yeah, so I have a question. And I'm like, Ugh, hold on. And I'm like, mm. and the lady's like, sweetheart, if you cannot talk to me right now, you need to get here. <laughs> and I'm just like, are you sure? And she was like, get here. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I tell David, and I went to the bathroom, and then that's when. So I just went and called my boss, told him I'm not coming in. Or I'm telling him what was happening basically. And then we decided that I wasn't coming in. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't know. So I, I don't know why there was so much hesitation on her part about whether to go to the hospital, whether, cause she was telling me just go to work. <laughs> and I don't think that sounded like a good idea. I don't so, know what was going on. But she had a lot of hesitation of not going to the hospital. You know what I think it was is because I knew you had like such a important training to do that I'm like if this is like a false alarm, I feel that that you had to like call off work. And I figured if it was a false alarm, they was gonna keep us in the hospital anyways because it's probably gonna be yeah. pretty much close to the time. You know, I was thinking about this the other day too. Like I forgot that I was already so dilated that I didn't think about like that. Like, cause at this point, I was, like in the beginning, before taking the boo, I was already like four centimeters dilated. But we didn't know that. No, we knew it by then. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we did. Yeah, you were four yeah, centimeters see, dilated from the <laughs> doctor's appointment. Yeah, yeah. so I, I forgot that I was four centimeters dilated. If I would have thought about that, I would have like not hesitated. Yeah. Because even the doctor told us to not hesitate. So at this point, we're already further along than we were with Nala. Yeah. Because when we got to the hospital then, you were, what, three, two, three centimeters yeah, dilated? Yeah, three centimeters dilated. You come to the bathroom and you're like, yeah, I already called off. And I'm like, are you sure? And I'm like, it's done now. Let's just go ahead. I know. So he was like, just call your aunt. He was just like, he was over me. He was like, just call your aunt. And I was like, all right. So I call my aunt and I'm on the phone with her. And I'm just like, mm. and as soon as I, she asked the phone, she was like, are you okay? Because we already had a conversation about if anything, she'll help me out with knowledge and stuff like that. So as soon as it's like, now it's like seven o'clock in the morning. And she was like, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna get checked out. I was trying to see. I don't know why she got all this hesitation. Like, you gotta be direct. Like, yeah, I'm feeling pains. I think I'm about to have this baby. Because I don't, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, then I'm like, oh, I just wanna, I don't know if you're busy or not, but I want to know if you can watch Nala. And she was like, I'm getting my kids ready for school, but you know, and I'm just like, hold on. She's like, Clarissa, just bring, just bring out, just bring out. <laughs> so we start getting packed. Get the bag was already a little bit packed. Well, it was packed for the most part. Yeah, it was packed, but it just wasn't inside the bag. Yeah. So then we, That's I'm getting, like getting all that stuff together, throwing more stuff in the bag, mm -hmm. thinking of things that we need. So that come out the bathroom, everything's pretty much in the car, and I'm just like. This is happening. At this point, it's probably like 7.15 or mm -hmm. something like that. And we get ready to get in the car. I'll get to my aunt's house. And now I know that I'm in labor because now it's like hitting me like it's like the contractions are like hitting. These contractions felt different from when Nala's contractions. It's like with Nala's contractions, even though technically these ones hurt worse than my pregnancy with Nala, it's like, it hit differently. And they say, when your water don't break, that it's not as bad until your water break. No, I ain't gonna even listen to society because them things hurt so bad. So we dropped Nala off. And now with this pregnancy, we're at a different hospital. Yeah. So this one's all the way on the other side of town. Yeah, we definitely talked about that. Y'all wanted to know if we was going to say hospital. No, we said we wasn't. <laughs> and it's the worst time of the day because it's morning rush hour. Imagine just like in any city, we're going towards the downtown area on a weekday in the morning traffic time when people go to work. And all the school buses on the road. All the school buses, all the work people, <laughs> everyone going downtown, everything. Worst decision. So anyway, we're heading to the hospital 
at this point. I'm checking my GPS. She's checking her GPS. Which one's right? We don't know. Yeah, so because <laughs> our GPS is I have iPhone, he has Samsung, and it's telling us two different ways or whatever. So now we're just going back and forth in the middle of contractions. We kind of like bickering a little bit. Mm -hmm. I remember also you were getting on the phone a lot and I'm just like, get off the phone, get off the phone. But I'll try to call my mom be like, hey, it's happening. So she was like, all right, I'm on the way. Like, it was like many people calling, trying to see how's everything going. This and I said, no, we don't have time. Like, give them an update, get off the phone. Like, this is the first time during pregnancy where, like, stuff has annoyed me. Like, I don't want to hear nobody's voice. I don't want to hear no one talking. I don't want to hear nothing. So he's on the phone then. I'm like, all right, get off the phone. Like, get off the phone. And I was barely on the phone. I wasn't even on the phone a lot. <laughs> to me, it was like, when they start saying, hey, how's things going? Is she okay? This and that. I was like, you can't update them later. Like, tell them to come, get off the phone. So, um, anyway, we're on our way there. We left my aunt's house around 7.30. At this point, it said it's gonna take an hour to get. <laughs> yeah. I mean, either way, when we seen that time in GPS, we really should just went to a hospital because this time, again, we not realizing how far along that I am. Yeah, we still not thinking like we about to have the baby in the car or anything like that. Yeah. We just, I was just listening to her labor pains. I'm like, all right. We got to get All right. There. We got to get there. <laughs> right. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. So anyway, we finally get down to the hospital around 840. 8, 845. 845. We get yeah. the valet. It's embarrassing because our, our car is trash. You know? We weren't ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> so our car is trash. You know, we're going to valet now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, whatever. But I remember getting out the car. Now I'm getting blurry. My mind's like, I'm going into shock a little bit. But I remember getting out the car, looking at the floor, and I'm just like, this is embarrassing. And then I get out the car, and they get a wheelchair and wheel me into the hospital. David Lee's go find a parking space. I didn't do that. Huh? <laughs> no, I oh, went yeah, in there with you. Valet. It was valet. <laughs> Pregnancy brain, she still got it, he, he, he left, <laughs> he wasn't with me. He wasn't the one that wheelchaired me in. No, I was walking right behind you. I grabbed the, uh, I no, grabbed. I'm saying you weren't there, so that's the reason why I thought. No, I just left the keys with the valet person. Yeah. And then I had to go to, we had to go to security. Yeah. They don't care whether you in labor or not, you still gotta go through security. She said, <laughs> she woke me up to security. She was like, I gotta put you here so they can um, check you through security. I'm just like, what? <laughs> so, it turns out they didn't even check me, child. Then I just sat there waiting for him to get checked. Yeah, I got then, I had to get checked. Yeah, and then we had to sit at the registration, and that seemed like it took forever. You don't know how much I want to go off on that. Lady. <laughs> like this lady getting phone calls. She's what's like, your name? Yeah, what's, what's your address? You know, this and that. I'm saying like, we've been here before. <laughs> no, but she was like getting phone calls from other people. Oh yeah, she was. In. Yep, yep. And I'm people. just like, I was cool up until that point. I'm like getting frustrated and I'm trying not to like, you know, cause I know people got their jobs to do and stuff like that, but I'm trying not to get pissed. If she would have told me in the end, we found out that she already told them to come, but they just didn't come yet. If she would have just communicated like, all right, I sent for them, they should be up here soon. And then when she was getting calls, I wouldn't be mad at her. But I was mad, I was sitting there like, dang. So we sat there for You like, was mad at everybody at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse finally comes. The nurse finally comes and she helps me out the wheelchair because for some reason we can't get wheeled back, so I have to walk. So I start to walk and then... A contraction hit. Yeah, and then I was like leaning against the wall and then she just was hugging me and I just remember thinking like, these contractions hit, but her chest is so soft. I was like, oh, that's so nice. She was that hugging it. Cause <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's so nice. I was like, that's good. I like I like this hospital so far. She over there consoling. That's good. Yeah, she was really yeah, she nurturing. Was, yeah, she was very nurturing. She's like, it's okay, it's fine. Go ahead, hug me, this and that, it's fine. I was just thinking like, this is so comforting. And then I started walking and then I got hit with another one and that one stung so bad. And that's why I knew it was real. Cause I, that thing brought tears to my eyes. And then she was like, oh, don't cry. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry, don't you say? And you know, when people do that, you just, Ugh. Oh, anyway, I get weight check. We go to triage room. They already like to swap me straight back to the room. And then when I got inside the room, 
and I had to go get changed into a gown. And once I got changed in a gown, I got hit with another one. It was me and David doing the rock, the rock link. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then I get in the bed, she comes in, and she's like, you know what, since you're in a lot of pain, you know, let me go ahead and check how far along you are. On the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm, I'm never afraid of a check, but this one I'm kind of like afraid because my my vagina is burning, you know? So I'm like, oh my Your butthole was burning. My butthole was burning too, but my vagina was full. Mm -hmm. But you was always saying, my butthole, my butthole was on fire. <laughs> no, th this was, yeah, I thought that was in the like, You would say it the whole time. Oh, was that? Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. So she just like, open up, let me, let me see. Right when she was about to go in, I got hit with a contraction. I was like, wait, 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 wait. So then she checks, she's like, yeah. She takes off the. <laughs> she's like, yeah. She we about to have a baby today. Yeah, she, something like that. Yeah, she takes off the gloves. It, she didn't even say it immediately, cause she didn't say nothing. She took off the gloves and then opened the slide door and called out to some people. And then I'm just like, so how far along am I? He's like, we gonna have a baby today. Yeah. And then I'm just like, how far along? And they be like, did she say it? And I'm like, no. Yeah, we had to ask, yeah. like, how far? Yeah, and she was like, seven, eight centimeters dilated. And I was I'm like, like, seven, eight centimeters dilated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, damn. And then I immediately went into panic mode because I'm like, Am I not gonna get this epidural? Like, I can't have a natural labor. Y'all heard me from the live stream. I was like, I can't do this natural. I can't, I can't do it. So the nurse, she was good. She called in like. Immediately. Yeah, to get the epidural scheduled and all of that stuff. Yeah, right after she did that, she called and she started like getting all kind of bags and stuff together. She's like, I was like, am I gonna be able to get epidural? She's like, we're gonna try to pump these fluids on you, baby. We're gonna try it. And then, oh, I'm like, all right. So she started to get the IV done. She was like, let's get this IV in. We're gonna have to try to pump this in. So she did the IV, she did everything. And then I just started getting hit more and more and more with the traps. And then you was yelling. <laughs> and and I'm like, mm. people start getting a little urgencies in their stuff. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, and then I remember being like almost about to fall off the bed because I'm trying to like clench the bed. And then she's like holding on to me like this. She was like, it's okay. And she's like, hold on to me, hold on to me. <laughs> and I don't know, I started to black out on and out because some contractions were real. And then only thing I remember from there was being wheeled somewhere. Yeah, so they wheeled. Did they wheel the whole bed? No, they put you in a wheelchair. No, because I slid off one bed to another bed in the labor room. Okay, so maybe they wheeled the whole bed and the IV had to carry that thing with you. Uh, we had to carry it. And then, uh, so we wheeled into delivery. Delivery, it's just called delivery, De labor and delivery. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to like scoop myself onto the other bed. And I remember after I did that, I got hit with the biggest contraction. And then I remember there were just voices talking to me. <laughs> and it was like, Jesus, I don't know who's talking to me, but I know it's females everywhere. Yeah. I just know that it's real, and I ain't got no epidural. That's just all I'm thinking about. So, I'm right there. I'm right behind everything. And the new nurse comes in. So we got a new nurse now. And then about three other ladies came in. So they're all getting the room prepped up, getting the, the heaters together. And they're still calling in for the epidural. But yeah. she's got to finish her. IV, it's gotta get down to a certain point before well, they'll- Well, you have to finish two bags. Yeah, before they'll put in the epidural, and I think you're still on the first bag. I don't, I never even seen a bag, but I knew it was there. <laughs> I knew it was in my arm. And then I remember hearing from the new nurse, she asked me all these questions, and I'm just like, but am I getting the epidural though? <laughs> and she's like, you gotta finish these bags, baby. We're gonna try to squeeze them into you. We gotta get this thing going or whatever. So I remember finally now looking over to the monitor and trying to figure out where my contractions are hitting, like how high are they hitting because I feel like crap. And for some reason for this pregnancy, I forgot all about the monitor. <laughs> cause with, with Nala, like, we had to look at it a lot cause it was in there for a long time. Yeah. So you could see how hard the contractions were hitting and if it was getting close or not. Yeah. I didn't even think about the monitor. <laughs> this, I didn't even know what was in there. I was just listening to her <laughs> So now at this point, I'm starting to be very vocal about like my screens like being loud. They start closing the door. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> oh, so loud. Everybody in the hallway was <laughs> really? here. Oh, yeah, they closed oh the door. God, so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking at it, and then now I see one hitting over 103, and I'm just like, and then I seen it coming back again. I remember seeing 56, and I was like, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and she we didn't have we didn't have no time to like sit down, relax, chill. No. No, it's in, like, everything was going. No, back, so back, 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 this back. sounds long, but at this point, we only been here about a good thirty minutes. Yep. Like, Remember, we got there at eight. 8:45. But 8 we didn't get in. Until we got like to the nine. parking lot. We got to the ballet at eight forty-five, eight fifty. Yeah, but we didn't actually get into after nine o'clock. Yeah. So. At this point, we only been here about 20, 30 minutes. We already had triage, we're in the labor and delivery room. Tops. Right. So, um, but after I started getting those two, and then I was just like, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And then she was like, you gotta pee? And I was like, I gotta pee. I was like, am I getting a catheter or whatever? She was like, do you want a catheter or you want to pee in a bedpan? But honestly, I don't think we got time for a catheter. She brought the bedpan. And she was like, <laughs> Just sit on it, I'm like, forget it, I'm just gonna pee. I don't even know how this going I don't even know what I look like right now, but I'm just like, just, just let loose, just let loose. And I just fine. remember hearing myself. I'm like, okay, I'm peeing. And then I'm like, I'm done. She's like, all right. So she took the bedpan or whatever. And then I was like, I got hit with another contraction. And I was like, what if I gotta poop? But she was like, baby, you don't gotta poop. She's like, you don't have to poop, you don't have to poop. And I was like, no, I gotta poop. And then she's like. Hold it back, hold it back. back. We're trying to get this We don't want you to push the baby out. Yeah, she was like, we gotta, we gotta keep the baby in and we're trying to give you the epidural so you can get more comfortable. I was like, but I gotta poop. And then she. You, you softly said it that time. So then the, then the, the. No, I didn't yell yet. Yeah. But I was still like, but I gotta poop. But the contraction was coming when, when I was about to say it. I was like, but I gotta poop. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, I don't really know how much time we have because your contractions, how how you're sounding, like, I don't know. Let me try to see if I can get epidural coming in. Anyway. So epidural came in to evaluate because you gotta get evaluated before even getting it put in. So he comes in, then he's like, um, you know, how you feeling this and that? And then I just can't really talk. I keep getting hit with contractions and this and that. And then I remember just hearing this voice. David said, I'm over exaggerating, but no. Um, <laughs> his assistant was like, you gotta chill out or whatever. You gotta chill out, you have to relax or whatever. You can't be moving around all over the place. And I'm just like, ignoring him. And then Donna was like, wait, hold on. Let me just, let's just go ahead and do the epidural. Let's make her more comfortable, then we can talk. Thank God. And then- I didn't think it was, it was that bad. It just, but, just that's, that. but that's what was said. So he was he was like, I'll be right back or whatever this and that. He's like, let's just get him more comfortable first. And then I just remember him leaving and then left and came back with all this stuff. And it was like, all right, we're gonna get you comfortable. Let's go ahead and do this thing. But you gotta be still, you gotta be still. And I'm like, all right. So now I remember you- I had to sit in front of you. Yeah. And hold your legs. Yeah. I had to hold your knees. And then you had to hold my shoulders. I remember getting up from the bed or starting to sit up straight and I could not sit on my butt for nothing. Every time I, when I was trying to sit up straight, I was getting hit with hard contractions. I remember clenching my butt cheeks and sitting my butt in the air and I was like, I can't air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she went into like a different, like this, this, this screen was a different octave. Like yeah, she I had some bass in this screen. Like I was like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> she turned into a box. I don't know. And he's like, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna put the needle in. He's like, I'm gonna put the needle in your back. And then I was like, another contraction's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when I heard the sister again. He's like, you gotta sit still. You gotta sit still. You can't be doing all that. And then he's like, she's okay. She's okay. Just, just relax. Just tell me when you're done. Let's get through this. And it's like, it sounded like I was like going through surgery. Like that was probably the hardest contraction I got hit with during that part because you can't budge and I felt like my spine was like ripping off of my skin like it was so bad so how did it feel when the epidural went who got put in your back what did that, that feel like that's just like a pinch <laughs> yeah last, last time I was on the other side so I got to see him put it in but this time I was on the side. I don't even think I we were facing you. each other this time. I held your legs. And then I remember them just taping up to my shoulders. 
And I was thinking like that was a better idea than the first one because yeah, they, didn't, they didn't do that last time. Yeah, he's like now you should be every contraction should feel a little bit better than the next one or whatever. And now I'm still getting hit with contraction. I'm just like. And then we asked how long it's gonna take for it to fully kick in. They said 20 minutes. Yeah, he's like, all right, I'll be back. It's like still screaming off the top of my lungs. Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not feeling better. And then that's when you ask the question of when is her water gonna break? Yeah, I said, uh, I said, do you think her water is gonna break, or do you think yeah. you're good? Y'all are gonna have to break it for the baby to come. And she's like. At this point, I think we're just gonna have to break it. I don't think it's gonna break. Yeah, it's not gonna break <laughs> this on. It would've already broken by now in most cases. And then I was just like, I gotta poo! I gotta poo! That's how he said, I gotta poo! And then she was like, no you don't. You just gotta hold it in. And I was like, no, I gotta poop. I know I gotta poop. I gotta poop. And he was like, so can you tell how far dilated she is? And then she was like, yeah, I could go check. Matter of fact, I need to check now because the way she sounded like she needs to get checked, like she's close. And then she tried to check me and I ain't feel anything. She was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell you. And he was like, why? And he was like, because uh, the bag bag's is bulging. in the way. Yeah, it's in the way. She was like, the bag is bulging, so I can't tell or whatever. So that's the reason why she's in pain. And I was still going through. I was like, no, 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 I got to poo, I got to poo, I got to poo. And the whole time, just like screaming, I got to poo. So now I'm like holding like my, my I'm like clenching for dear life. You know, I'm like growling and all kind of stuff. And then I was like, no, I do, I gotta, I do, I do, I do. Epidural still hasn't kicked in. No, so now it's like already 10 minutes past and I'm still like really getting hit. So now that's when that happened. When and she goes. starts turning to her side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holding the bar, turning to her side. And she's like, starts spreading her butt cheek. <sighs> And then it all of a sudden, I'm like, <laughs> it almost hit me in the face. <laughs> My back burst. The back burst, the water came squirting out. And I was like, no. and a little bit of poop. Just there. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, she was like, yeah. And then she just called the doctor. <laughs> so everybody comes rushing in at this point. They get all the, like, all the materials they need. They put something underneath you to clean you up. I just remember the bed we, like transforming. Yep, yeah, then they had to bring out the little leg things for the bed. And yeah. It was like, put your leg up here. And you're <laughs> I would not put my leg up there. I would not. Them things were so high up in there. They was trying to like, you gotta put your leg on, you gotta open your legs. And I was just like, I can't. And then I'm just like flipping, flopping, all kind of yeah, places. Yeah, you would not stay <laughs> I was like, put one leg up, then I took my leg off and put it up, took it off, and I was just like, I can't. And it was like, you gotta open your legs. And then, the doctor comes in back, the same anesthesia I'll just come back and he like, well that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that was fast. Mind you, it's only been like maybe 35 minutes. Yeah, if that, so. If that, by, by this point. So I was like, is the epidural gonna work? And she was like, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I turned it off. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to do this thing natural because we don't have time or whatever. I'll just like, they was like, I can't, I, I can't, I can't. They was like, yes, you can. They're like, you're doing it, you're doing it. Yeah, they was like, and they was like, you're gonna have to push. And I was like, eh. so both of your both of your legs are up at this point. At this point, yeah. And I'm just like, and now they're they're cleaning you up right now. So I know they, I pooped. Yeah. <laughs> I know I pooped at this point. Cause I put both my legs up and then I remember like thinking like I smell poop. Yeah, you was smelling a little bit. So they got like some, it looked like a saline solution yeah. or water and they started with the spray bottle and they started spraying you, cleaning mm -hmm. it all washed down. Into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the doctor was like, all right, so I'm gonna get this bag. It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that was before I started pushing? Yeah, that was before you started pushing. No, 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 no. No, that was, that was after. after. That was yeah, after. yeah, 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 yeah. That was after. So, yeah, they, they was cleaning her up, cleaning her up. I remember feeling the water water stream on my butthole. Yeah. And then... And then you had another contraction. And it was like, if you gotta push, you push, push, push however you wanna push or whatever. You just do it, but you you can do this. So I was just like, I can't. And I was like, there's like this contraction. And I was like, there's like push through. I'm like, yeah. and you did like one big push. 
Well, I did like a semi push and I stopped. And he was like, "Babe, it's coming!" Like, yeah, I saw, the, I saw the head already. I was like, like, he was like, "Babe, it's right there. Like, you can push, <laughs> you can push." And I was like, "Okay." And I heard his voice, and I'm like, "All right, let me just do it." And I just like push, and um, he was like, "The head's out," and I said, "It's out." Yep. <laughs> I, said, I said, "The head's out." That's like, "Yep, the head's out." So like, "Don't push." And I was like, thinking like. Well, that wasn't hard. It was that was, it was <laughs> fast. It's like, and, it was like, and they just pulled it out, and then they just threw it on top of me. And I remember glancing at her, and I was thinking, like, she got a little weight on her. <laughs> so then, then I'm, I'm, I'm a, out. yeah, I'm down at the bottom, and then they're like, "You want to cut the cord?" I'm like, "Cool, man." Like, it's gonna feel like you're sawing it. It's, it's really tough. It's like, all right, come on, give me the scissors. And like. I don't know, both times with, with Noelle and with Nala, they never tell me to gown up. I'm in regular clothes. But it's, everybody else around me is gowned up. It's blood everywhere. So I, I cut the cord, and it doesn't, it's not that bad. I cut right through it. But all this blood comes squirting out, hits me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was thinking that the cord was short. That's what I remember thinking. Like, I, I didn't even look. remember looking at how long it was or anything. But they... I clipped it and then I think they took the baby away. Yeah, they took her to the warmer and I'm still like in pain or whatever. So I'm sitting there and then they dry her off. They was like, do you want to hold the baby? I was like, no. <laughs> I said, no. They was like, are no. you sure? Yeah. They was like, no, you sure? And I was like, yes. I was like, I don't even think I said her. I said, give it to. <laughs> so they gave me the. I said, give it to David. They gave, <laughs> they gave me the baby. So I was like, no, I'm still in pain. No. And then they was like, Okay, well, and they started giving the rundown <laughs> to how to how to hold him, whatever. And David's not listening. This time, whole like with, when when we had Nala and they gave it to me the first time, I was like, oh, I'm a little scared. But this time, I was like, all right, I've done this before. I know how to hold it. Mm -hmm. So they gave it to me, and I'm just looking at him like, hey, you got your color already? You got hair? You got everything? You ready? You was ready to come out? I don't even know what she looked like, child. I wasn't even paying attention. All I knew is. At this point, his mom hits the door. Yeah, my mom comes in out of nowhere. And I, was, <laughs> I was just thinking about because I was about to call her to tell her where we was at, and then I was just thinking about how the hell, did, how did you find us? <laughs> she just be finding her way through stuff. I said, how? And it ain't like we in like some front room or anything. We're like back behind like a couple of security Mind doors. Mind you, this is probably like a couple minutes after pushing the baby out. This is like five minutes after pushing the baby out. So she's like. You got the baby out already? No, she's like, y'all couldn't wait on me, huh? <laughs> I don't even know how she got back here, but I knew it was her. So um, She come in, start cracking jokes and stuff. Yeah, so then about to pull out the placenta, this and that. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is about to hurt. Because I remember last time, that was the worst part or whatever. It wasn't, pull out wasn't as bad, but I knew my vagina was still in a lot of pain. And when they pulled it out, I was thinking like, but it still hurt. <laughs> my vagina still hurt. Like when I pulled out, when they pulled it out with Nala, <clears throat> it immediately felt better. But after that, her, it, mm -mm, no. So then it was like, we're gonna go ahead and put ice on it. But the doctor was like, and that's when he said the mess stuff. Oh yeah, he's like, it's a mess. They, they, they had to get all the bags and throw it in the, the biohazard and whatnot. Then I think they did an assessment of you to see yeah, how was, bad everything was. And it was like, you didn't get no bruises, no cuts or nothing. Like, it's like just a little bit of scar tissue. You don't need any stitches. No, he's like, it's just a little abrasion, but it's like nothing. Like you did very well. He's like, the baby head shaped really well and all that. He's like, you did great. And then he's like, well, that was like the fastest delivery. Yep. It's like, well, nice. it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it's like, that was like, nice meeting you. He's like, Nate. Maybe next time I'll, I'll get to talk to you longer or whatever. <laughs> I just remember them putting the ice pack on my vagina and thinking like that felt a little bit better. And then I think at finally at this point after like relaxing for like a few minutes, I then looked over at her, the baby's here. And then I just went over and just like still rested some more and I just hear his mama cackling, joking. And it was like, all right, so we need you to go ahead and go pee. And I'm just like, so I get up and then it was like, yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and wash your pee. And I'm like, his mama just came in here and she told me I gotta like. So anyway, I'm like, I don't care about nothing though. So I'm just like peeing and I remember thinking like, dang, this is a long pee. Like, cause I remember y'all even saying it. And y'all was like technically like sitting next we to me. We was like, right, right, like 
a foot away. <laughs> so, Mind you, this room is a lot smaller than the room we had last oh, time. Oh, way smaller. So every, everybody's like yeah, acting. And then I hear David like, man, you still going? And his mom like, dang. Like, <laughs> I'm just like. She literally peed for like 45 seconds. <laughs> After that, maybe about, maybe like 15 minutes, it was like, all right, we're gonna wheel you up to your room. Then they put me in the wheelchair and then we was right there, like my room was like right there by front gate, the front desk or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I remember hearing somebody <laughs> say, ooh, it's like two different people. <laughs> like I just laughed or whatever and then they just will pass. So let's do a timeline. So, all right, so going back, we got to valet at 8.50. Mm -hmm. We got into triage around about nine, Maybe like 10. 9, nine 10, 9, yeah, 15. Yeah. And then Noel came and was born into this world at 10. 10.07. 10, 10, so that is technically by the time we got in the back, let's say 9, 15. We were in the hospital for less than an hour. Less than an hour before. from delivery. So it was super fast. It's definitely a way different experience than Nala. Way I did different. not want to have a natural labor and delivery, but I actually did. And um, I don't even know what to say, like as far as which one I think is better or prefer. I mean, clearly I don't want to be in labor for 21 hours. So for that, that aspect of it, I would probably lean the hand towards natural, but that pain was something serious. And it's hard to say so far. It's really hard to say, but naturally, I think in the end, I may end up saying the natural was easier. But I think even if I finally did get a successful epidural one day in my life, because me and my kids, no time soon, child, the IV <laughs> is coming. But I think I would still try for my epidural because that thing is serious. Like I just like give me a minute to breathe. But we would just leave like much earlier. Like you feel pain? All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> in hindsight, it it was still successful. It, it was fast. Was it was intense. Yeah, very intense. And then you can say that you did it naturally. And I actually had a nat natural labor. And David be disrespecting me because when he be tell <laughs> telling people, he's like, she pretty much went natural. No, I went natural. <laughs> Stop telling people she pretty much went natural. No, that was natural. <laughs> when you go through that, you feel like a superhero. And when somebody say that, no, it's degrading. I went natural, okay? You went natural. I heard you made sounds I ain't never heard before. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't never screamed so loud. <laughs> in my life that wasn't like a blatant argument so yeah that is the labor and delivery story hope you guys can get something out of it <laughs> that's our story y'all that's that's what happened quick fast and as much as we could explain and i hope you guys can see why we couldn't necessarily film everything yeah didn't have time we had the camera yeah we just didn't have time to set it up or anything no so hopefully we explained it in a way that you could get a good picture of what happened yeah um, but, but yeah, it was crazy. Yes, yeah. definitely so. So if you have any questions or anything, just comment down below. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. We definitely love you guys. We appreciate you guys for listening and going through this process once again the second time around. And yeah, definitely love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you next time. Alrighty. Bye. Bye.